Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Mingle Cal. This is week three and we're doing the modified shelf pattern. We're gonna add a little bit of texture this week to our blanket with this pattern. And if you haven't done any textured work before with crochet, this is a good chance to start. As usual, I'm gonna start with crocheting 35 chains. You can always start with a chainless foundation row. You're gonna find the details on my blog. We're ready to start row number one. And these are my 35 chains. I'm gonna skip the first chain close to the hook and I'm gonna start working into the second chain. I will work into the bump, which is an optional uh, start. You can always work uh, or start your first row as you always do. I'm gonna do half double crochet stitches. So I'll yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch, pull a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. So I'm going to be repeating the half double crochet throughout the row and at the end I should have 34 stitches. So this is what my work looks like for now. This is a row of uh, half double crochet stitches. Now, before we start row number two, we need to locate the third loop of the previous row. So here we see the V stitch of uh, the half double crochet stitches. Now, if I just turn my work a little bit, I can locate that third loop of the half double crochet stitch where I have inserted my hook. This is where I'm gonna be working my second row. As I turn my work to the other side to start the second row, this third loop will be facing me. So now let's start by stretching our current loop a little bit to the height of a half double crochet stitch and then we chain one and into the first stitch we locate the third loop and we insert our hook from the bottom up pull a loop and then finish our half double crochet stitch Now, if we look on the other side of our work, we're gonna find a nice ribbing being formed. This is the effect of working into the third loop of our stitches. So this is what row, or the second row looks like from the back side, and this is what it looks like from the right side. A nice ribbing has been formed. So let's start uh, the third row. I'm gonna chain one and turn my work to the other side and do a single crochet into the first two stitches. Now to do the shell part, First, we will be working into the ribbing row that has been formed two rows below. Now, in the previous row, I'm gonna skip two stitches and then I'll trace the third stitch down to the corresponding stitch uh, on the ribbing uh, row. If you can't really trace it, all, all you have to do is count five stitches from the beginning of the row. So once you, you find the fifth stitch from the beginning of the row, we will do uh, five 
double crochet stitches into that stitch. I'm gonna yarn over, insert the hook from the bottom up, pull a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And we're gonna repeat that four, four more times into the same stitch for a total of five double crochet stitches to make our shell. Just make sure that when you pull a loop, you, put, you stretch it a little bit to the length or to the height of your current row so that your tension is not so tight and your work uh, uh, like stays flat at the end of your project. So here are my five double crochet stitches. This is our first shell. And now I'm gonna be skipping five stitches from the previous row. So always double count your stitches to make sure you're skipping the correct number of stitches before you continue your work. Now into the next stitch, I'm gonna do a single crochet. And repeat that two more times for a total of three single crochet stitches um, between the shells. Now we're ready to start our second shell. So similar to what we did in the first shell we're gonna skip two stitches trace the third uh, stitch to the corresponding stitch on the ribbing row and if it if that is hard for you just count seven stitches uh, on the ribbing row from the previous shell and we're gonna be working into the eighth stitch So once you find your eighth stitch, just mark it with your finger so you don't lose your um, stitch. And again, double count before you start working. Again, we're gonna start doing five double crochet stitches into that stitch. And this is basically the repeat for this row. Three single crochet stitches and a shell. Between each two shells there are seven stitches on uh, the ribbing row um, and you just keep doing or you keep repeating the pattern until you reach uh, almost the end of the row where uh, we will finish it together.
So I finished uh, the last shell for the row. I did a total of four, uh, four shells for uh, this row and then skipped five stitches. And uh, by the end of the row, I should have three stitches remaining. And I just do a single crochet into each of these stitches. So here is what uh, the pattern looks like for now. So now we're ready to start the fourth row, which is the last row of our repeat. I'm going to chain one, turn the work to the other side, and throughout this row, I'm going to do a single crochet into each stitch. So here I finished my fourth row. This is the back side of my work and the skipped stitches are showing uh, on that side. And if we look at the right side, we're going to see the shells and the ribbing row. It is just a very simple textured pattern and um, it's pretty, uh, I, can, I can say it's an um, advanced beginner pattern. This is my finished square of this pattern. I repeated the four, uh, like I repeated the four rows for seven times to get um, a square. But again, it's according to your gauge. Just uh, uh, keep repeating the uh, four rows until you get a square. And once you're done, uh, you make or you crochet a border of single crochet stitches all around the square. Uh, making sure that you add uh, two uh, stitches into each corner uh, to have a flat uh, border on your square. That was it for today's uh, tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please share your work with me and feel free to contact me if you have any questions regarding this pattern or any of the previous Cal pattern. And um, I'll see you next time, so take care and keep crocheting.